Welcome to Artchek's YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Galan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today, we'll be making Murakami flowers. Here are some examples. You might be wondering, what's a Murakami flower? A Murakami flower is inspired by a very famous artist named Takashi Murakami. His flowers represent joy and innocence. And they were inspired by his students when he used to be a teacher in schools. Let's take a look at some of Takashi Murakami's artwork. Now that you've seen some examples of Takashi Murakami's artwork, we're going to create our very own today. Let's review the materials. Hopefully you have your little art bag with you. La la la. Today, you're going to need this piece of paper with the directions that say Model Magic Murakami Flowers. You'll also need your materials. You should have three colors, red, blue, and yellow clay, as well as some toothpicks. Remember, you can pause the video at any time. So let's go ahead and get started. Begin by taking your yellow clay and cutting it in half. Cut your red clay in half and cut your blue clay in half. Grab your piece of yellow, roll it into a ball, and then squish it gently to kind of make a really thick double stuffed Oreo. This will be the center of your flower. Now take your other piece of yellow and split it in half. Now we're gonna make the petals to our flower. They're the colors of the rainbow. I'm first gonna start off with yellow and form the yellow petal. Then I'm going to work on the red petal. Notice the thickness. And lastly, I'll do the blue petal. Now we have to create the rest of the colors. The first thing I'm going to do is split my other pieces of clay in half. To mix green, grab blue and yellow. The easiest way to mix is rip and squish, rip and squish, then form your petal. To make purple, we're going to grab a piece of blue and red and mix them together, then create another petal. And lastly, we'll grab a little bit of red to create the smile on our Murakami flower. Once you've done that, you can mix your red and yellow together to make orange. Before we assemble our flower, we need to make the eyes. I rip off some purple from my petal and I'm going to use this tiny little piece, split it in half, roll it between my fingers to make two long flat ovals. This will be the base of our eyes. Next, grab your yellow petal, rip off a tiny bit of clay, and you will use this to create the highlights in your eyes. You'll need four tiny little dots. Before we assemble our flower, I like to make sure my colors are in order. Starting clockwise, it should go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Now we're going to use half a toothpick, gently place it 
into the center of your flower with the pointy side sticking out and then place your petal into that toothpick gently. Do not squish hard or push too firmly against the flower. Continue the same process to add the rest of the petals to your flower. Adjust your petals as needed. Look closely as I move them slightly together so that all my petals are slightly touching. We did it. We created our very own Murakami flowers. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like it below. My name is Mr. Galan. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.